Okay, we've written another integral on the board. We've got the integral from zero to pi of x sine x over cosine squared x plus three dx. Okay, the first thing I was thinking about here is if we actually could get rid of this x somehow or just divide this, we kind of, everything over here would be easy to integrate just because we've got an obvious, just because we've got a good u substitution set up right here because the derivative of cosine is gonna be minus sine x. So integration by parts seems like it could work, but I didn't really go down that road because what I wanted to do instead was use King's principle on this. So now going ahead with King's principle, we'll just use our formula that we have over here. And this just kind of gives us a shortcut on the u substitution really. But what we're gonna do is let's rewrite this using this over here, where our b, where our b plus a value here is just gonna be pi plus zero or pi. So our bounds stay the same. We're going from zero to pi. And then we're gonna be evaluating f at pi minus x. We just need to plug that in everywhere. So for our x value, this is gonna become pi minus x. This will become sine pi minus x. Then in the denominator, this is gonna become cosine pi minus x. This is squared plus three dx. And then from here, we can just apply the supplementary angle formula here and here for sine and cosine. What, what's gonna happen there is sine of pi minus x. This is just gonna be the same thing as sine x. And then for cosine pi minus x, this is the same thing as minus cosine of x. But the only thing is because it's squared, it doesn't really matter because that's gonna wipe out this minus sign. So when we use this over here and rewrite this, what's gonna happen, we have our pi minus x. This is just gonna become sine x right here. This is gonna transform, after we take this and square this here, this is gonna become just cosine squared x plus three. And then now what I can do here is I can just kind of distribute this sine back in here, but because we have this minus sign here, I can actually split this up into two integrals. So going ahead with this for my first integral, we're gonna have pi times sine of x, but pi is just a constant, so I'm gonna bring it up front of this first integral and write it like this, and then we're just gonna have, this is gonna become sine x cosine squared x plus three, and then for the second integral, I'll bring the minus sign out front, but then we're just gonna have x sine x here in the numerator, and then we'll have the same denominator here. And then what I notice at this point is just that what we have here, this is exactly the same as our original integral. I can just label our first integral. I can label this thing as i, and so this here is also i. But let's just leave this for a minute because now what we've done here, because we've eliminated the x from this expression, this, this here now has become that easy integral we talked about originally that we could do with the u substitution. So let's set this up. Our u for this is gonna be cosine x just so that we have du equal to minus sine x. I can create that minus sign right here, but I'll have to bring a minus sign out front just so I'm not changing it. And then we'll just go ahead and substitute, but now I wanna keep track of the fact of what i is, what our goal is. So we'll have our i, everything's gonna be equal to i. This is gonna be, we'll have this minus pi in front. Now first we plug pi in, cosine of pi is gonna be minus one. Plugging zero in, cosine of zero is just one. Then this whole numerator is gonna be our du value. So this is just gonna become du over u squared plus three. But for three, let's write that as square root of three all squared. I'm just setting up my arctan formula for a little bit later. And again, we have this piece over here. I'm just gonna write this as minus i. But then I can add i on both sides so that we'll cancel out here. We'll add an i here, but this is gonna become two i. We'll write it as two i. But right away, let's just get rid of that. I'm gonna divide off this two right here, just so I can isolate our goal i, but then I need to divide by two over here. I'll take this minus sign here, and I'll just use it to flip my bounds around. So we'll take this and we'll flip this. So now that we're going from, just to get it where the lower bound is, just to get it where the lower bounds to the lesser numbers, so now we're going from minus one to one. And one last thing before I integrate, let's just notice this is an even function because we're squaring the u, and we've got symmetric bounds around zero. So what I can do is fix the lower bound, write this as, Write this as zero, but then I just need to multiply by two in front. And then of course, cancel twos here. And now I think we're ready to integrate. So for this here, we're just gonna have our pi in front. This is gonna be our arctan formula. So we'll have pi. And for the arctan formula, we're just gonna have this value in the denominator. So this is gonna be pi over square root of three. And then this is gonna become arctan of u over square root of three. And this just needs to be evaluated from zero to one. Now we can forget about the zero, because arctan at zero is just zero, so that goes away. Evaluating at one, we get arctan of one over square root of three. That's gonna happen at pi over six. So what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have pi over square root of three times pi over six. And just multiplying that together for my final solution, we just have pi squared over six square root of three. Okay, there you have it. Thought it was a nice integral using King's principle. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.